day at the pool might seem like a fun time, but not if it's in your own home. Today we're going to test the effects of extreme flooding on both a 3D printed and a traditionally constructed house. Today I'm here with a marine biologist and this moisture sensor to tell the effects of the flooding on a 3D printed house. Let's take some initial moisture readings. Our initial sensor indicates that there is 6.9% moisture in these walls. And now for the flooding simulation. Yep, that's water all right. Now that the flood is hit, let's clean it up. After a squeegee, a vacuum, and an optional flamethrower, this wall is now bone dry. House? Aquarium? Who knows? Today we're here at the traditionally built home to see how it stands up to some flooding. As you can see, this sheetrock is now swimming with the fishes. Let's take a moisture reading. 72% moisture. 84%. We're headed to Splash Mountain. Overload. 